Jim Clark was my, uh, my hero growing up and uh, F1 of course is the, the uh, epitome of everything that's great about motorsport, the glamour, the excitement, the speed. At Williams of course, what a, what a legacy, great engineering legacy, great engineering foundation within this organisation that's allowed us to build an advanced engineering group that we believe can tackle some of the most interesting issues and problems that the automotive industry the uh, energy sector, the defence sectors have to throw at us, so uh, it's a fascinating place to work. A lot of the challenges in the world today is improving efficiency uh, and, so, and, and energy comes with that, so anything you're able to do to improve energy consumption um, or reuse of is where we sort of had a lot of strengths. We're very good at taking a holistic view and coming up with you know, a, you know, a different way of approaching it, a different way of solving you know, the problem. The organisers of Formula E were looking for a group that would be capable of supplying all of the power systems, the battery systems, to this new single seat series. And uh, it was a project we were really interested in. We had the first battery running in test in the January um, uh, 14 last year um, and then the, ra the first race was in Beijing in, um, in August so we had a very aggressive less than 12 month program to develop the battery, validate the battery, produce 45 batteries and pass the UN 38.3 legislation which is so you can transport these batteries around the world by in flight and it was yeah, it's completely delivered in, in about t 10 months in total. CX-75, of which there's one you know, here at the moment, uh, was another very challenging program. Very simple objectives. It had to have the performance of the Bugatti Veyron, the fuel economy of a Toyota Prius, and the range of a Chevrolet Volt. Williams uh, did a terrific job in creating the CX-75. It really is a, a very special piece of uh, automotive art. A real challenge that we tackled exceptionally quickly, and that's a hallmark really of advanced engineering, was the uh, Nissan GTR time attack car. Nissan gave us a challenge. They wanted us to uh, engineer the GTR to take on the Nordschleife. And we achieved the majority of the performance by uh, advanced aerodynamics, weight reduction with lightweight components, strategically placed lightweight components, and actually only had a very small engine performance upgrade. And so we were very proud of the fact that we could, we could one, at the time, broke the lap record, which was just over seven minutes for Nürburgring, for, which for a car that was 1,700 kilograms, quite staggering. But we're very proud of the fact that it was a very efficient solution for that. The internal combustion engine's far from dead and in fact there's nothing quite like a, uh, a big V8 block. And we love our high performance cars but you know performance can be extracted in many ways and I think that the EV systems that we've developed here at Williams uh, show that you can achieve great performance, you can achieve it with great efficiency and you can still produce so many of the characteristics that uh, engage motorists and keen automotive enthusiasts.